Once on a faraway planet, ZX, there lived a ten-year-old boy named Jobo. He was a prince, the only child of the planet's king and queen, and he had Down syndrome. Jobo's father, the king, possessed special powers that he used to rule the planet. He told Jobo. That when he turns sixteen, Jobab will be old enough to wield the same powers. But he also said that there were other dark powers that Jobab will have to keep hidden, and out of the hands of possible evil doers. Meanwhile, on a nearby planet of Kabuko, an alien king and queen are worried because. Their planet was being consumed by fires that they can't put out. They decide, along with the king's brother and their ten-year-old son, to flee their planet and go to Jobo's planet to take over. They arrange a sneak attack planned by the king's brother and win. Their plan is to imprison Jobo's parents, but at the last minute. The alien king's brother reveals that he wants to take over for himself, and puts his brother, the king and the queen, in prison with Jobab's parents. Jobab escapes with the help of his kindly nanny, who takes him to live in an orphanage, without revealing that Jobab is the king and queen's son. With no use for his ten-year-old nephew, the alien king's brother decides to send the boy to the same orphanage as Jobob. At the orphanage, Jobob gets made fun of and bullied all the time, mostly by the alien prince. The alien prince is constantly beating Jobob in contests, whether the games of checkers, running races. Or who can climb a tree the fastest? Even though he gets discouraged, Jobob always says he will beat the alien prince one day. The alien prince says that he'll always beat Jobob because he's more smarter than Jobob. Jobob points out that more smarter isn't actually English, so he is actually smarter. The years. Pass until Jobob is about to turn sixteen, and his old nanny comes to visit him. She reveals to him that he can go to a very remote place on the planet and uncover the special powers his father had and use them to save the planet. The alien prince overhears their conversation and sets out to win the powers for himself. In the ensuing race, Jobob gets to the palace before the alien prince assumes his new powers and returns to challenge the alien uncle, who has been ruling over Jobob's planet like a tyrant. The alien uncle, meanwhile, has learned from his spies about Jobob and their nanny. When Jobob arrives at the palace. He finds the alien uncle threatening his nanny, demanding to know where Jobob is. Jobob uses his new powers to save his nanny and defeat the alien uncle, who is knocked unconscious in the process. However, just as the battle ends, the alien prince arrives to announce that he has discovered the source of the dark powers, and challenges Jobob. Jobob and the alien prince engage in an epic battle that lasts several hours, but eventually Jobob prevails. After chasing the alien prince up a tree and knocking him off a branch, where he falls to the earth and is knocked out, Jobob gathers the alien prince and his uncle and takes them to the palace dungeon. There he frees his own parents and locks up the uncle. But instead of imprisoning the alien prince with his parents, 
he tells him to take his parents, go back to his home planet, and use his new powers to put out the fires consuming the planet and save his own people. After sending the alien king and queen and the prince back to their home planet, Jobob gathers in the palace with his parents and nanny. They have a tearful reunion, and the king and queen thank Jobob for saving them and the planet. They ask how Jobob was able to defeat the alien prince. He explains that during the battle, he realized that the alien prince's power was weakened the further he got from the ground. So Jobob challenged him to a race of a tall tree, just like when they were younger in the orphanage. But this time, Jobob let the alien prince win, knowing that the higher up the tree he went, the weaker he will be. And that allowed Jobob to overpower the alien prince and knock him to the ground. Jobob, the nanny, and his parents embrace, and the king says, I hope we never again have to face a terrible threat like that to our planet. But just as he says these words, out of one of the palace windows, the ground starts to shake, while something large and slimy begins to emerge, accompanied by a loud hissing sound. To be continued.